Hey, Planet Cosplay viewers, this is Carlos here, and I'm with Corrine O'Flynn. Yep, hello. hello. We're at DCC 2018, and I'm also with Lisa Menable. Hello. Hello. Great authors, read their books, and I can't say anything, but <laughs> Penelope, that's all I want to say, Penelope. Peaches. <laughs> Peach, I want peaches. Hello, Peaches. I used to dance under that name. No. Oh, hello, Peaches. <laughs> It was the refunds you know that what? killed I me. I totally believe you. A hundred percent. Have you seen that show? So tell me about your books. Uh, right now We've got I am talking about book two of my fantasy series called The Expatriates. Book one is Song of the Sending. Book two is Promise of the Scholar. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Book three comes out later this summer. It's called Soul of the Sword. And it's the trilogy complete. Soul of the Sword. Soul of the Sword. It's not a soul Motown book. It's just the soul of the soul. So this is my fantasy adventure series, and it's uh, flying off the shelves. So come to booth A246 to get yours. If we drop that today. If you drop yeah. it today. If you didn't, then you missed out. Go to my uh, website. <laughs> and do that. We'll get that all doo doobly awesome. in the doobly doos. Doo -doo and yours. Uh, come on, Lisa. is called Dragon Lost. This is from my Dragon Thief series, and this is about a guy who makes a living as a thief, and he makes a pretty good living, and then he steals the wrong thing, and he wakes up as a dragon. So it's kind of like, how do you make a living? How do you keep life going when you wake up as a dragon, you know, and break beds and break things? And the second book is coming out towards the end of the month. It's called Dragon Found. This is a um, series of five books. Hopefully they're all gonna be done by October. That Five books? Yeah. That's the goal. I'm optimistic. Well, no, not writing them all now. Oh, <laughs> I'm like... A lot of them are done. How many, what's your card wall look like? What do you mean? I'm, uh, oh. In oh. keeping... I actually, you, I don't do a card okay. wall. Okay, hey I kids, do, I do a this card is um, for po a uh, pop, pop classroom, pop culture classroom. And a card wall is how to write. It's called webbing, basically. Storyboarding. And, okay, storyboarding. Yeah. <laughs> Do you? Oh, yes. That's, and what mind mapping is, is you write down the, t the series and the main characters, and then you think of all the cert things that are going on with the main characters, all their personality, quirks, what do you want them to do, where do you want them to go, what are their problems, and you just make a nice big circle out of it so that you are creating a story from the mind map. Oh, mind oh, is yeah. not circular at all. It's a straight line because everything must be square. No. Oh, so it's mine like is one of those sentences with that you have to like diagram. Diagramming sentences thing? and everything. I have color coded. Hey kids, coded stay posts. in school. That's right. I have, you get good well, things. The nuns in Catholic school taught me diagramming, and it actually works. But no, I have. Well, one only get, broke my little finger, but that's another story. That's, that's not for Comic Con. <laughs> That's for the We'll cut that story. out. That's for the, that, uh, we <laughs> that's, won't. That's for the erotica stories. <laughs> no, my whiteboard has uh, post-it notes in rows for the three acts of my story, basically. You know, but I will say Corinne has been an excellent influence on me because now we use Excel and we do the chapter breakdowns. Yes. What? Yes, so every chapter gets its plot points. She's, she's learning how to actually I am organize a Okay, story. Excel is kind of an old things, kids. Google but Sheets. It's, uh, Google uh, Sheets. Sheets. Numbers. numbers. Apple. Oh, Apple <laughs> numbers. Whatever. They all have apples in school. Squares. Uh -huh. Squares. Squares with numbers. But yes, I'm, we're, I'm converting her to the planning phase as opposed oh. to just writing off the seat of your pants. Almost. Oh. Almost. Kicking and screaming. No so, um, pouting. <laughs> oh, do you mean no comma pouting or no, no pouting? No, no comma pouting. Okay. <laughs> I get a little surly sometimes when she gets very get linear on no me. Comma, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so um, let's get some of your uh, social media sites. So, so uh, uh, manifold.com. You can follow me on Amazon under Lisa Manifold. I am the only Lisa Manifold on Amazon. Um, one you of my got one of those cute little books also. I do. <laughs> you know, so we have a girlfriend of ours, Jennifer Rose. Jennifer, hello. Who shout made out, these, to shout Rose. out to Jennifer Hashtag Rose. Hashtag Jennifer Rose. <laughs> and she's <laughs> what? Which she's right around the bend, around the, uh, on the edge, and she's got a YA series. Her very first book. It's fantastic. And it's going to do amazing things. But she made these for us because we helped her out. Yes. That's great. It was a thank you. Okay, and it then back a... to the social media. Oh, so author Lisa Manifold <laughs> on Facebook. 
LM Manifold on Twitter, LisaManifold.com, and Da Big Fab on Instagram. Da Big Fab? Da Big Fab. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> Shout out to Da Big Fab. Big Fab. I love that. <laughs> that's a nickname, Da Big Fab. Da Big Fab. Da Big Fab. How'd you get that? Uh, that's a family nickname because I was so fabulous in high school. I was convinced of my own fabulousness. And so my, fam- my family started calling me the Big Fab. That's incredible. That's a true Wonderful. Story. True story. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> you can take that to the bank. Yes, you can. My family did not call me the Big Fab. I'm just Corinne Well, O'Flynn. no, because this is the Big Fab. <laughs> there can be only <laughs> one. <laughs> I am Corinne O'Flynn. Dot com, Corinne O'Flynn on Facebook, Corinne O'Flynn on BookBub and Amazon and all the places. BookBub? BookBub. I don't know that. Oh, my God. Okay, so BookBub is where you sign up if you are interested in reading whatever genre, and they send you out new releases from your favorite authors, and they have all these discount deals. So if you're looking for deals and not wanting to spend lots of money on books, but also okay, to so find I new authors. I need to work on my homework here. BookBub. But do you guys know B-U-B. Kick? No. K-I-K? Thank you. <laughs> hey, you gonna tell us what it is? Right. Drop some knowledge. Oh, okay. Uh, Kick. It's the Carlos. newest. It's the newest. Uh, it's the newest platform. It's you know, Facebook uh, for those other people. Kick is for my um, seven-year-old nephew. Told me, hey, you're not on Kick oh, it's yet. Guys. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not seven. <laughs> Thank you very much for taking time, you guys, Thank you, so I, much well, you to ladies. See you. I appreciate Always it. Good to see you. Appreciate Always. it so much. Appreciate it. Uh, Drop mine.